Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. Feedback is such a loaded term. It comes with so much baggage. And I was talking to a fellow coach who was talking about the value of feedback and talking about how feedback is a gift. And there's so many different perspectives when it comes to that. One of the things we don't talk about enough is why is feedback being given? See, it is my contention that people accept or do not accept feedback based on their level of agreement. Now, let's think about this. We're going to give someone with a negative attitude some feedback, some perception, And we say, Jack, you really have a negative attitude or your attitude is perceived as negative. When was the last time someone looked at you and said, you know what? I think you're right, boss. Now, I'm adding a little bit of sarcasm and humor to the context, but most people go into agreement, disagreement mode. Yet what we have to understand is feedback is also an element of perception and an opportunity to control that perception. Now, I think if we were to ask an employee, you know, Jack, um, do you want people to view you as negative? I think we'd find it quite rare for an employee to say, absolutely, I want them to think I'm horrible to work with. So it begs the question, why? Why does feedback become such an arduous thing to give and, more importantly, to receive? See, if you get people saying, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, While someone is giving them feedback, guess what happens? Or while you're giving them feedback, your relationship with feedback becomes a lot more arduous to give. Oh, I don't want to approach Jack again. He's so negative. He pushes back. I'm too tired. Think about this. What if we taught employees how to seek feedback in their terms? Now, I teach something here at Progress Coaching called feedback progressions. Now, feedback progressions are really powerful. Feedback progressions is about creating momentum within the feedback set of sequences. So recently, I delivered three workshops to three different companies. And I told people that they would actually potentially really enjoy role-playing and practicing. Nobody believed me. Everybody rolled their eyes. And I said, well, how many of you are nervous or apprehensive or just don't like, you know, role-playing or practicing? Everybody's hands go up. All three companies. By the end, I said, how many of you felt like this went a lot better and might have even been a teeny bit enjoyable? Almost everybody's hands went up. I said, raise your hand if you're unaware of an area where you could improve. Nobody raised their hand. Basically saying, I know I need to improve. I'm pretty aware. I said, so why do you think this was such a positive experience? Very few people could answer it. Here's why. They didn't realize what I was doing. So one strategy of feedback progressions is to say, Jack, you you know, practiced with Susie. What did Susie do well? Susie, what did Jack do well? Get employees talking about each other. The next round of feedback. Jack, what did you do well? Susie, what are you what did you do well that you're proud of? Get people talking about themselves. In the first session with these groups, we never, ever asked for constructive feedback. We framed it to only be positive. Here's why. Help people feel good about getting better. See, feedback progressions is a progression of using strength-based feedback and a uh, perspective of self-awareness to gain momentum as it relates 
to seeking and accepting feedback. Now, the second thing you could do is also to teach employees and ask them every single week, ask one person for one set of feedback. Where do you feel like I'm performing well? And where do you feel like I have an opportunity to raise my game? Notice the phrase where I can raise my game, not what I'm doing dreadfully wrong. See, when we call somebody into the office, and I ask this all the time, what's the employee's first response? It's usually, "Uh uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Why? Because most managers go into constructive feedback mode. Yet, what if the employee sought feedback on his or her terms and structured it in such a way that allowed them to get the feedback before potentially somebody felt the need to provide the feedback. Wouldn't the acceptance be greater? So think about something called feedback progressions. Get some information on our feedback progressions training program. And then number two, learning how to seek feedback and accept it with a high degree of self-awareness will dramatically change the workplace and the team setting. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to you. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.